Sure, I'll, I'll start now. So um, thanks everyone for coming. My name is um, Jeremy Smith. I am the CTO at Jellyfish Pictures and um, we're, we're based in the UK and I've known Sheila for years. So it'd be, it's good to, good to be back in Vancouver again. Um, I've got um, basically just a couple of, uh, some of you may not be familiar with, with Jellyfish. So I've got um, a company show reel and then another video to kind of really highlight how we're using, um, you, you know, utilizing cloud-based technologies. And then um, I've also got a, a presentation on how we use SyncSketch basically for all of our reviews and stuff. So without it, um, any further ado, let me link, for those who aren't familiar with Jellyfish, let me just p play a quick, quick reel. And um, So hopefully that kind of gives you kind of a, a really good barometer of, of some of the work that we've done. And for those of you who aren't familiar with Jellyfish, so that's, you know, we do a lot of work for Star Wars, Netflix, and, and, several, um, and several other vendors. So today I want to basically talk about basically remote, uh, the, re the global remote working with virtual studios. So, and, we, and how on that we actually utilize SyncSketch for collaborative workflows. I think it's fair to say that um, remote is definitely gonna have an impact in this industry forevermore. And the ability to interact with people in multiple different geographical locations is gonna be a necessity you know, as this industry goes forward. So with that, and, um, I would like to give basically, I've got another clip that kind of gives a bit of background to kind of how we kind of utilize public cloud. And so that will give a good background to, to essentially for the rest of the presentation. So instead of me, um, Explaining and talking about it, I'll just show you a clip. I can find my mouse.
Cool. So we've, we can see that we've, we're utilizing basically the um, cloud-based technology to basically to really help basically our workflow and also to, to basically hire people from, from anywhere. So actually during the course of the pandemic, we, um, just a bit of an interesting side note, we had about people from about 25 or 30 different countries working on one of the biggest jobs that we've ever done. And so, and we also hired about an extra 40 or 50% over the course of the pandemic. So we firmly believe that, you know, cloud-based solutions are here to stay and that, and that um, they're going to make up an integral part of, um, of how we work. So with that, basically, let's kind of start with Sync Sketch. Um, and so here's kind of a, like a bit of a map of, of what we were doing before. So basically, we're obviously using like a lot of basically cloud-based technologies to kind of help usher in a new world of actually helping produce content. We use the hub and spoke approach to, in that we helps create a seamless pipeline and basically we're able to extend that into basically different geographical regions around the world. And Sync Sketch really helps us further collaborate collaborate with all of these people in different locations in a secure um, environment, but yet creative environment that basically the artists are just basically familiar with. So um, we've done integrations, well, we haven't done it, but um, the guys have also done all the proper integrations with ShockGrid and basically and also we've also been through the whole audit process to really kind of help make sure that, you know, things are being kept from a compliance. So when we work on content from like say from Disney or Netflix or whatever else like that, we know that we, we're doing it and that, that it, is, it is secure. So the collaboration is really, really everything. And so we want to be able to basically hire those people from wherever they are. And SyncSketch is a fantastic tool that basically, you know, that we use in our arsenal to do dailies. We first started it using um, about two years ago, and obviously we were talking to the guys um, and basically on, a, on how we can kind of extend it into like our daily in our, in our review process. So the kind of the cool thing is basically when we started doing dailies, it was, you know, historically you would all get into a room and have to do dailies, but obviously now, you know, they were able to do it from whatever endpoint device that, you know, they had access to. Um, this is some of the projects where these are the projects that we've used Sync Sketch on. So basically we see um, like all of the Star Wars stuff, the Boba Fett, the Han Solo. Also, we've, you know, recently wrapped on Stranger Things 4. And so you, you can kind of see also, you know, we've helped basically working with Apple. So you can see kind of like the, the kind of like the caliber of projects that we're at. So it's very, very high end tier, tier one. And the, the IP is also very, very important. And so, you know, with Sinsk as part of our, you know, here's, I guess, three points is that we want to basically our clients and teams around the world that we, you know, we're confident that we can, you know, that we can share content securely. Um, you know, we have been through several audits with several other um, vendors and, you know, we obviously work with the team to make sure that that is going to be fine. And we also basically kind of wanted to, you know, the collaborations to be seamless. The review tools that people use to go back and forth and everything is actually very, very important to us. And also we wanted to speed up the work workflow. We don't want to basically be transferring sites back and forth, you know, doing things kind of like the old school way. So using things like SFTP or anything else like that. So we wanted a very, very seamless way of working. And so, yeah, again, security is number one. So I'm going to probably talk, you probably see a theme during this presentation. So again, it's to create a secure ring fence cloud um, in networking infrastructure to make sure that only certain people can see it at certain times. And also, you know, we've got it tie tied in via shock grid. And again, we, um, that's under lock and key as well. And so basically here's basically, uh, I won't read them word for word, but you can kind of read them here. So here's some of the quotes that, we've, that certain people have internally just to see on, how, on where it fits into our workflow. And again, it's all about collaboration, basically. So kind of going forward, it, it, like as long as you can basically collaborate with, within your own facility and within your, with your, within your partners, that's going to be kind of the name of the game going forward. So again, you know, we use it for external and internal reviews. And here, here's another quote from, from one of our animation directors. So, I mean, it is, a, it is a fantastic tool for an artist just to kind of dump, you know, just to drop in and basically give quick feedback, give notes, is very you know easy to use, and so it, they, they can just just pick it up. All and all this basically kind of ends up in saving time. So we're able to you know integrate with the tools that we already use. There's, we don't need to basically transfer assets from A to B. Um, people can kind of just drop in, drop in, and go. And this is the power of uh, of cloud-based workflows. Here's another quote from one of our producers. 
So again, it just highlights this, this, this simplicity. Uh, we also basically use it for, you know, for several across departments. So we also basically use SingSketch um, just for even stills, for sharing stills. So say for example, concept art. So it doesn't necessarily even have to be uh, moving images or, or video or anything like that. Um, it's very, very easy just to drop in and then people can make notes basically on stills. So say for example, if you've got an art department or doing concept work, um, yeah, it's, it's very, very good for that. And basically it's, you know, it's just to highlight it, this is basically our, our um, head of PR, head of comms. I mean, she actually uses it basically for reviews for dealing with external clients as well. So say for example, for publishing something, we might use SyncSketch just to give, just to give reviews going out to like say a magazine or an online form or anything else like that to see if there's any comments on like a final image they want to print or anything. So, it's endorsed by basically various major studios. So it's, um, I think this is really, really important that Sync, we're now seeing SyncSketch is kind of, it's kind of like an established foothold in many, many other studios, not just Jellyfish. So it's also good for security features, but also for collaboration but from production to marketing. And um, yeah, basically we're really proud to use it. And obviously we've been kind of working a lot with, the, you know, with the team in the US and just kind of, you know, for several years now just to go from there. So. That is, that is, thank you for coming. And that is a very, very quick nutshell, but I thought we'd leave it open if there's any questions or anything like that. So, um, cause I'm, I'm sure you're all familiar with what Sync Sketch is, but I hope this kind of gives an idea with, with how we use this technology in our day-to-day -day operations at the studio. Do we have any questions? All right. Well, thank you so much. Oh, oh. Yeah. I'm going to ask a question. Um, <clears throat> so, from from the security standpoint, I imagine that in the beginning of the pandemic, there were lots of lots of changes for your pipeline as well, and uh, you know, for your clients moving into the cloud. How how was it? Uh, what, how was your experience with SyncSketch, and how did you uh, sort of work with your clients to make sure that everything uh, is communicated in a way that you know, con their content is secure. Yeah, well, I mean, like obviously the pandemic forced a massive um, change across across the board. And all of a sudden, like, the, you know, the cloud architecture, and the, you know, and what these services run on basically came under, you know, a lot, a lot of questions. So obviously, like, what we do is that we have an enterprise account, which means that, you know, we're not using shared storage and obviously like everything, we control all of that data. So it's little things like that, that where you have the option of doing that. And a lot of other services, that's not the case. And so again, you can completely ring fences and you know, on AWS, you've got load balances, you can do IP restrictions and all that sort of stuff. So if you only want that bucket to be accessible by certain geographical locations, you can set that up. And so, um, and we, we do that for some of our other services as well. But that sort of thing just gives a lot of confidence to studios. And I know some studios a lot bigger than us in the US basically are also doing the same thing for, for that very reason. So. Yeah. Thank you so much. All right, thank you very much.